So this is what your piece will look like at the end of round six. For round seven, we will begin with chain two, one, two. And then we will do four half double crochet in the same loop. So this loop right here, the first loop, we will do four half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that loop, pull loop through, three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. One, two, three, four. Now we will skip the next two single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four single crochet here. We will skip the next two. We will work one single crochet and the next two single crochet. So the third single crochet, a single crochet, and the fourth single crochet, a single crochet. Now we will work 15 half double crochet into the next loop. So yarn over, insert your hook into the loop, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. One, two, Now we will skip the next two single crochet and work a single crochet in the next two stitches. So skip the next two of the four, one, two, and the third one we will do a single crochet. And in the fourth one a single crochet. Now we're back at our loop, we will do 15 half double crochet in there. So that will be the pattern all the way around. 15 half double crochet into the loop, skip the next two single crochet, and then do a one single crochet in the next two single crochet. 15 half double crochet into the loop, all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round seven. Your piece will look like this. I have finished my last two single crochet here, so I'm on the loop. To finish it off, we will do 10 half double crochet into the loop. And 10, and then we will do a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2. At this point I'm going to change my yarn color back to white. If you are not changing your color you will just continue with the next step which is to join into the second chain from chain 2 a slip stitch. The first chain, the second chain, a slip stitch. If you are going to change your color, you're going to take your white again. So I have it on the back here. I'm going to cut it off. The two tails here, I'm going to tie it together to secure it and cut it tight. But for now, I'm going to take my white again. I'm going to take my white, insert my hook into the second chain from chain two. wrap my white around my hook and pull it through and complete a slip stitch. Now this round is over, we will begin the next round. For round 8, we will begin with a chain 1 and then we will do a single crochet into the same stitch, so the same chain 2 from the previous row, we will do a single crochet like that. Now we will chain one and skip the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in the 11th stitch, this one right here, we will do a single crochet. And 
Now we will chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip the next half double crochet, and in the next one, a single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four. We will repeat. Skip the next half double crochet, and in the next one, a single crochet. And then we will do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Skip the next half double crochet and do a single crochet into the next one. Now we will chain one. Skip the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in the 11th, we will do a single crochet. And then we will repeat all the way around. So to repeat all the way around, we will do chain four, skip the next half double crochet, a single crochet in the next one. Chain four, skip the next half double crochet, a single crochet in the next one. Chain four, skip the next half double crochet, single crochet in the next one. So one, two, three times. After the third one, you will chain one, skip the next 10 half double crochet, and then the 11th one you will do a single crochet and repeat with your chain four. We will do that all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round eight. I am finishing my round here, and this is where I've ended off. So I've done my last single crochet here. I have one loop on this final loop here. So I need to make two more. To do that, I will begin with a chain four. One, two, three, four. And in this, and in this half double crochet here, I will do a single crochet. Now to make our final loop, we will do chain one, and then we will do a half double crochet into the first single crochet of the round, right here. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first single crochet, and complete a half double crochet. And there's our final loop. For round nine now, we will begin with a chain one, following a single crochet in the same space. So this space here, we will do a single crochet. Following chain two, one, two, and then we will do a single crochet in the next chain four space. So here's our chain four space. Skip this chain four space, chain four space, chain four space. The first one, we will do a single crochet. Now we will chain four and single crochet in the next chain four space. One, two, three, four. The next chain four space, single crochet, and then we will repeat that one more time. Two, three, four, and the final chain four space, a single crochet. Now we will chain two, one, two, and we will single crochet in the next chain four space, followed by chain four. So that'll be your pattern all the way around. In our three chain four spaces, we will do single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, and in the last one, chain two, and then we will single crochet into the first one again, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain two, and then the next one, single crochet, chain four. We repeat that all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of round nine. Your piece will look like this. So I've done my last single crochet into the final chain four space. Now I have the beginning chain one here. The beginning single crochet here. So what I'm going to do is chain one and do a double crochet into the beginning single crochet. Yarn over, insert my hook into that stitch, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that will create our final chain four space. So here we are for round 10. For round 10, 
If you are changing your yarn colors, this is the point where it's going to get very cumbersome, so you want to keep yourself organized. If you are not changing your colors, it's a very easy round. So let's get started. To keep ourselves organized, what I did is that all the remaining tails, I tied them together and I just cut them really short so you don't notice them. And now we're going to begin. So now that we have organized ourselves, here's what we are going to do. We're going to begin by taking our new color. So I will explain how to do this with first by changing the colors and then I will explain how to do it without changing the colors, the pattern for this round. So to change your color, we're first going to begin taking our blue, wrapping it around our yarn and pulling it through our stitch. Pull the white to make it tight and then we're going to chain one with the blue. Chain one. And again pull the white tight. Now we will do two single crochet into this chain four space that we just made. So here comes the tricky part. We are going to insert a hook and pull a white loop through. So we're always pulling a white loop through and finishing with a blue loop. So to keep myself organized, I have my I take the blue string and I put it back here. So it's so it's held there. Then I take my white and I pull a loop through. Then after I pull a loop through, I take the white and I bring it to the front so it's held there so it doesn't get loose or tangled. Now I take my blue. I have two loops on my hook, a blue and a white. Yarn over, pull through, two. That's one. Now I'm going to insert my hook again. I'm going to take my blue, put it behind here. I'm going to take my white that's at the front, bring it back to the back again, yarn over, and pull the white through. Two loops on hook, blue and a white. Now I'm going to take my white, bring it back to the front and hold it there, and I'm going to take my blue, and I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. Like that. Now, in the next chain two space, this one here, the chain two space, we will do one single crochet in there. So with the same thing, I'm going to start it with my white and finish it with my blue. So I'm going to put my blue behind me, insert my hook into the loop, pull a white through, two loops on hook, bring the white over to hold it there, take my blue and complete the single crochet yarn over, pull through two. Now the next one is this chain four space here. We have our chain four, chain two, chain four space, the third chain four space here. We will do two single crochet. So again, the first one, we are going to start with the white. Finish with the blue. Now for the last single crochet, this the last one here, the second one of the two, we are going to do it all in white. So I'm going to I'm going to bring my blue yarn over with me. So I'm just going to rest it on the hook. And I'm going to take my white yarn over, pull it through, two loops on hook, with the white still, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to chain four with the white one, two, three, four. And I'm going to make my fifth chain blue. So I'm going to bring the white here and just bring my blue like that. Now I'm going to go into the, now I have three loops here, chain four loop, chain two loop, chain four loop. In the first chain four loop, I'm going to do two single crochet. So again, with the single crochets, we are going to begin with the white. So insert my hook, pull a loop through of the white. Now rest the white at the front and finish it off with the blue. Yarn over, pull through two. That's one, and I'm going to do it again. Pull the white through. Take my blue. 
yarn over, pull through, two. Now for the second one of the chain two loop, I'm going to do one single crochet in there. Take my white, started with the white, pull loop through, take my blue, yarn over, pull through two. And the third and final chain four loop, I'm going to do two single crochet in there. The first one, I'm going to start with my white and finish with my blue. And the second one, I'm going to do an all white. So remember to, re to bring our blue yarn with us, rest it on the hook, pull a white through loop, pull a white loop through, two loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and the fifth chain I'm going to change to blue. And then I have my three loops again, chain four loop, chain two loop, chain four loop. So that's the pattern all the way around. So the basic pattern is in each of the three loops, chain four loop, the first one, we're going to do two single crochet. Then in this chain two loop, we're going to do one single crochet. And then the chain four loop, we're going to do two single crochet. After you do your two single crochet in the last chain four loop, the third one, you will do chain five. And then you're at the next group of three. In the first one, you do two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, chain five, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, chain five, all the way around. So that's the pattern by itself. If you are changing colors, after you have your one, two, three, four whites, and your fifth one is a blue, the first of the three loops, the first chain four loop, you will do two single crochet in there. And once again, when you do your single crochets, you start with the white, finish with the blue. The second one, one single crochet, start with the white, finish with the blue. The third one, two single crochet, start with the white, finish with the blue. But the second single crochet, you will do it only in white. Start with the white, finish with the white, do four chains, and the fifth chain, change it to blue. And you repeat for your next three loops. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end.